For those of you who may never have been part of a conference change, let me share a few thoughts with you. First, yes, this move to the Sun Belt focuses heavily on our athletics program. But athletics and athletic facilities alone are not sufficient to be awarded an invitation. Quite frankly, academics play a key role in this process. To our coaches and athletic staff, thank you. Your hard work and diligence has paid off. It was you and your team's successes that brought us to the attention of the Sunbelt staff. But what's important is that we made the Sunbelt the right decision today to bring in Coastal Carolina as the Sunbelt's 12th member. We have created something very, very special with the Sunbelt Conference. And it's going to provide your student athletes and student athletes in this room to miss less class time, to spend fewer days traveling, to spend fewer nights in hotel rooms, and for them to be back on campus in their own rooms, studying in their own study areas. This is not a football driven decision. Um, Coastal Carolina football has great potential, you know, and it could be the next voice you say very easily. But this was a much bigger decision and a much bigger uh, reason and it, and it fit geographically. Remarks. The, the fact that we were being looked at, uh, certainly athletics plays a role, but if we did not have the academic excellence, the growth and what we're doing in the academic side of the university, this would not have been possible. And as, as we saw 10 years ago, kind of the, the spurt in growth, I think you're going to see that in, in our um, our issue right now is to keep our, our hands on the rein and make sure that it's smart growth, that it's quality growth. Uh, we have a profile that was already very attractive in many ways, but certainly there are upgrades that we have to uh, engage in. The, uh, the primary one is what we do with football, so we'll begin that process immediately uh, to get our stadium up to the FBS and, and Sunbelt standards, which you know, at, at the very least is around 20,000 seats. So that's the plan uh, going forward. Uh, we'll begin that immediately. Uh, as for the rest of our sports, though, we, we really feel like we'll have a fairly seamless integration uh, into this conference. This uh, university could have sold itself you know, with all the respect with or without Myrtle Beach. Uh, the fact that Myrtle Beach is here, and, and it's part of it, just adds to it, uh, which Coastal Carolina will be eligible for the championship in 2017. Uh, they won't be bowl eligible. And, and then 2018, uh, they will become full-fledged FBS members. And, and, and here in the state of, Carol of South Carolina now, Coastal Carolina is now in the same, in the same category you know, as the University of South Carolina and Clemson.